Can you tell us your name, your age, and what you do for a living? Yes, my name is Brandy Yates. I am 36, and uh, I do work in accounts payable for my professional job, but my brand that I'm building, I am a life coach. I focus on relationships, mindset coach, accountability coach. Nice. And what's your current relationship status? Uh, Well, single, but divorced. <laughs> I just like to ask. Yes. <laughs> do you have children? I do. I have a soon to be 15 month old son from that marriage. <laughs> okay. Do you want children in the future? I do not. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> okay. Why did your last relationship end? Um, so I kind of did. For those who haven't watched it yet, I did an episode with uh, with Sean before, and I just basically explained, you know, how I felt like when we got married, I eventually realized that we should have never got married. Um, so just to sum it up from that interview, I would just say I feel like I can't really necessarily say we grew apart, um, but we did not have we did not have a lot in common like I thought, you know, so. The only thing we kind of had in common was like the religion part, but like real life goals, um, like our idea of what a relationship, let alone a marriage should be, finances, a lot of things that we should have talked about beforehand, we did not have a common goal with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for those who didn't see that, if you want to watch the episode in depth, uh, you can watch it on the channel. I have it linked up below in the description if you missed the episode. Very powerful. What's a deal breaker for you? Oh, um, golly. I think a deal breaker for me, um, for one, from, from the dating scene that I kind of see now, um, a deal breaker for me will be control issues. Mm. So um, when I say control, I think, in this society, we got this thing where we kind of feel like we own the other person, especially especially if we married. You know, we kind of feel like we own this other person. And I don't, I don't, a deal breaker for me is not allowing me to show you that you can trust me. You know, you're keeping tabs, you're constantly, like the questions are overly too much. You know, you, you uh, oh, well, I thought you said you were going to be here. Well, what about this? I, I'm going to be there. You know, so it's like, the control issue. I guess it would go hand in hand with trust issues too. So. Yeah, for sure. So how do you handle difficult situations? Me per se? Um, a lot of times I have to step out of the situation. Um, a lot of times, I guess for women, we will be the ones that want to talk, talk, talk about it. I'm not that person. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, just give me a minute because maybe I'm not hearing what you're saying correctly. You know, maybe something is going on. Give me time to process it. Um, and then I will tell people, hey, I said now is not the time. If you keep pressing, then the ugly side of me is going to, you know, come up. So just give me time to process, um, you know, what we need to talk about. So um, I don't know. Uh, I more so do that. But then I also am the person because I'm a life coach. I do try to have the conversation right there if we can mm -hmm. but like i said a lot of times emotions be way too high and then it's like people are like well you said x y z i'm like that ain't what i said yes it is i right, let's let's table this and come back to it so yeah for sure you just oh. smiling <laughs> no i it's it's real that's real so why do you want to be married hmm. you know what's crazy this this gonna sound real crazy especially because I'm a life coach and I speak on relationships. I have really evaluated that, reevaluated and reevaluated. And I have not come to a conclusion on why outside of a moral reason. Mm -hmm. And then outside of, outside of this was just more so like, quote unquote, an American dream. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, I've come to the terms where even though I don't, I don't, I don't agree with doing this, but I have come to the terms where, where even if your boyfriend and girlfriend, a lot of things that you're building can be built in that stage. 
Um, when it comes to legal documents, um, there's ways to put your partner on that type of thing without being married. Mm -hmm. um so i've been reevaluating i the goal i do want to get married again but i have been reevaluating in my life that question you know like what's the real what's really the goal on why i want to get married so i am i am still in constant evaluation of that mm. to be honest, so no i appreciate that that's that's good there's yeah. no wrong answer Okay, let's That's the ultimate go, you know, everybody like, what? I want to be a girlfriend my whole life. I don't either. Trust me, I don't. But I mean, the question you gave is is really something we gotta, you know, evaluate. Like what really why or I'm the person, why are we doing what we do? Mm -hmm. You know, not I'm not saying like like you said, it's no right or wrong answer. I'm not saying don't get married. I'm not saying stay a boyfriend, stay a girlfriend your whole life, but it does go back to why are we doing what we do? Like, is that something we were brainwashed to do? Is it religious reasons, spiritual reasons? You know, what what is the reason? So I'm just I'm just in that current evaluation right now. Mm -hmm. That's real. Okay, so I have three questions. Let's okay. go a little, let's go a little deeper, Brandy. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. First question. When you were scared, sad, angry, or overwhelmed, who, if anyone, did you go to for comfort as a child? Sadly, I had nobody. Okay. I had nobody. Um, I went inward a lot. Um, crazy as it sounds, I went to books. When I was a child, younger, I was buying like adult books to like, you know, work on my mind. Like, let me find some answers here. So I really didn't have a safe space when I was younger. That's no, that's that's interesting because I asked that question. And um, because the alternative is if you didn't have anyone to go to, what did you do? So you answered the question, which shows that you're very inquisitive. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a saver or a spender? I'm in the middle. <laughs> I think now because, because I am single and I am working on building the foundation of my brand, I work this nine to five. It really, you know, this is kind of all I have. Mm -hmm. I'm more of trying to be a saver, uh, but I do believe I'm paying back. Or I'm I'm getting off debt that this will sound this gonna sound bad. I'm getting off debt that I accumulated while I was married. Mm -hmm. So even all these years later, I'm getting up that that bad you know credit score and uh, life happens. Had to get a car. You know, I bought me a house a year ago. So it's like. I save as much as I can, but really I'm in my middle point of uh, just paying off debt. So. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing. Yeah. And I splurge a little bit. I do. I'll be bad. I'll be bad sometimes. <laughs> it's all good. What did you learn about relationships from watching your caregivers? Honestly, so my dad never got married. My dad raised me. Um, he never got married. He had women in and out of our lives so um I didn't learn anything from that other than um I guess I would say and I don't really know I never really asked him um I guess I would say he had commitment issues um to me being a child looking at what was going on I think maybe I was like I was questioning like was well, this how you supposed to be you know is this like go from this person to that person to that person like is that what adulthood is so that's kind of what I used to question when I was younger obviously you know I do what I do I think that played a role too in me rushing to get married because I didn't want to be like that mm -hmm. you know I didn't want to live that lifestyle of just having person after person after person so mm -hmm. when it came up the opportunity came up to get married I'm like yes this is God this is it my my prayers are answered you know but that's another lesson, you know, within itself. So, no, for sure. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you so much for your time, Brandy. I appreciate the the transparency. And uh, if the DM is open, this is this is what we do. If, even if you don't find your spouse in this video, maybe you'll find a great friend. You just never know. It's all about the connection. So, um, we would like to hear those testimonies eventually. But thank you so much for your time. And how can everyone? find you on social media um so brandy yates is my personal platform of conquering relationships that's my business brand so 
You can find it IG, Facebook, um, TikTok, uh, Twitter. I'm not on there as much, but yep. All right. Well, everyone, you heard it here. So Brandy, Yates, the DM are open. So <laughs> <laughs> thanks again for your time, Brandy. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank Anytime. You.